Are you having trouble getting your IT certification, like your CCNA, MCSA, CSENT, whatever it is? Are you having trouble focusing, getting started, getting motivated? Maybe the reason is that you just don't want it bad enough. guys uh, welcome back to network Chuck now I wasn't gonna make a video today because I just posted one yesterday but I was listening to this video and I'll go into that here in a bit and it just prompted an idea um, it prompted a motivation for me and I'm like I've got to share this with you guys so I know a lot of you are working on your certifications that's a large part of why you watch this channel you're getting your CCNA CSENT MCSA whatever and you struggle right like we all struggle you struggle to get focused you struggle to um, wake up every day and study for it and it might take you a month it might take you three months sometimes it takes you three years like i really procrastinated on my ccmp it took me like three four years to get it <laughs> now i prefaced this video by saying maybe you don't want the certification bad enough why would i say that well i'm gonna say this and it's kind of controversial if you wanted it bad enough you would get it that's what it is what prompted this video is I was listening to uh, Dave Ramsey. You might have heard of him. He's a, a really big guy in the financial planning realm. He helps people get out of debt. And he has this radio show, and uh, this couple called in, and they were like, hey, we're having a hard time getting out of debt. We're having a hard time following your plan. And what he told them was interesting, and I think it applies to us as we're studying and trying to make our lives better. He said, you don't want it bad enough. Your why isn't big enough. But, you know, here's the thing. I touched on this idea a little bit in, in another video, but I really want to zero in on it. What is your why? Why are you studying for your certification? Why are you getting into IT? Why are you doing that? Your why determines everything. So, for example, let's say if I told you, let's say you want to get your CCNA, and I told you, Joe, let's say your name's Joe. Joe, if you don't get your CCNA in six months, you're going to die. That's a pretty big why. Uh, I would wager that in six months, Joe, you have your CCNA because your why is huge because you don't want to die. That's obviously an extreme example, but it does hit home the point. You have to have a good why, a big enough why to help you focus on getting that certification, to help you go through the hard times, to help you wake up early. I mean, we, we've talked about hacks to, to get your certifications. Uh, we, we talked about atomic habits and how to kind of trick your brain. But sometimes it just comes to being motivated, to having that reason to do it. Because you know what? A lot of the time, you're not going to feel like studying. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes, or a lot of the time, it's not. And your why has to be big enough to overcome that. On this channel, you're used to hearing about how to get your certifications, how to get into IT, how to become a network engineer. But the why comes first. If you don't have your why in place, you're going to be in trouble. You are. There's a quote I read from uh, Jim Rohn. He says, when the why gets stronger, the how gets easier. If your why is big enough, if your why is strong enough, the how will just fall into place because you're going to do whatever it takes to, take, to reach that goal, to get your CCNA. Now, I can speak from experience on this. There was a time in my life where my why was so big, I was studying like crazy. So when I first started to get into IT, I was poor. I, I was married. My wife was expecting her first baby. And we were living on food stamps. I mean, we were. We were poor. I was making nothing. And I I needed to get out of that. I was tired of, I mean, we weren't even living paycheck to paycheck. I We weren't, it wasn't enough. <laughs> um, my why was a better life for my family. Is I, I know that's your why for many of you. A better life for your family, to stop living paycheck to paycheck, to have a bit of freedom, a bit of breathing room, remove that stress from your life because it's killing you. Is that why big enough? Maybe it's time to sit down. I, I invite you to do this right now. Sit down, write down your whys. Why are you studying if your IT certification? If it's just because you want those fancy letters next to your name, that's not big enough. It's got to be bigger. It's got to be so big that when you hit that rut, when you don't want to get up and study, or when someone gets sick in your family, or when your job gets harder and you get really tired and you don't want to study, your why has to be big enough to help you say no 
I'm studying today because I need to get my CCNA. I need to get my CCMP to change my life. So here's what I want you to do. Get out a piece of paper, get a pen, write down your whys. Why are you doing this? And by the way, this obviously doesn't just apply to IT certifications. It can be losing weight. I mean, if, if you look at like, let's say you want to lose 20 pounds. Well, if you just want to lose 20 pounds to look better in your jeans, you might not stick with that. But if your doctor said, if you don't lose 20 pounds, you go and die. Believe me, you're going to lose that 20 pounds, right? So anyways, write down your whys. And if you've already done that, because I've, I've talked about this before, if you've already done that, do it again. Write it down right now. Put it somewhere where you can see it and remind yourself every day of it. Because that is what's going to help you go through the tough times. What I'd also like you to do, if you can, just below in the comments, put down your why. I think it's going to be good for you to write that down there. And it will be good for everyone else watching this to see what your why is. Maybe you'll give them an idea like, yeah, maybe that should be my why. That's a really good why. That'll motivate me. Double down on that why. Re reignite your fire for that. Now, I do want to address this because I've struggled with this in the past. Maybe your why is strong. You don't have a problem with that. But maybe you doubt the certification will help you. Maybe you've heard people saying that the CCNA isn't worth it. Maybe you feel that if you spend all this time studying for the CCNA or you're switching careers into IT, maybe you feel it's not going to be worth it. It's not going to happen for you. It's not good enough. That's a legit fear. You need to address that. And that can really only be overcome by looking at other people and what they've done. I can tell you from my own experience. I switched from selling plumbing supplies. I was, a, I was literally selling toilets. My family was poor. We were living paycheck to, well, barely paycheck to paycheck. Food stamps. I had a family. It was rough, man. But I switched careers into IT, got my certifications, and it, it flipped my life upside down. I mean, so much so that I'm sitting here talking to you right now about it, right? I, I've made more money than I could have ever imagined. I never thought this would happen to me. And guys, got to be honest, I'm not that smart. <laughs> if you're smart enough to play this video, you can do what I've done. So yeah, I can vouch for certifications like the A+, the CCNA. I can vouch for getting on the help desk, changing that career, and working your way up. It is real. And so what I need from you guys who have already done this, who are in your career, who you've, you've gotten your CCNA and it's, it's changed your life, it's helped you get that job, please, in the comments, tell your story. Encourage these people who are just starting because remember where you were. Remember how hard that was. Whew, well, okay, that was my rant. <laughs> um, I hope that encourages you because it, it encouraged me when I was listening to that video, uh, renewing my why for a lot of the things in my life that I'm trying to do. If your why isn't on point, you're not going to go anywhere. It's so easy to let all those other things in your life uh, distract you. Well, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for sticking around and uh, listening to me talk. If you haven't already, hit that like button if you like the video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, hey, subscribe and hit that little bell icon to be notified when I post a video. And speaking of whys, <laughs> I keep harping on this, but you guys are a huge reason, a huge why for me. Uh, the reason I, I keep creating these videos. I mean, when I started making these uh, videos for this channel, I, I had a why of just like kind of marketing myself. But then as I saw, I was actually helping people. I'm like, whoa. So I would have stopped making these videos a long time ago. And, but when I see the comments that, you know, hey, I'm motivating you to stay focused and energized. Dude, that's so awesome. That's amazing. So it, it you guys motivate the heck out of me to keep making videos. So thank you. You're my why. <laughs> and it's awesome. Anyways, enough of that. <laughs> I uh, should see you guys Monday. I'll be posting here soon. That's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>